thank you, Nina Foundation, and thank you all the trustees for choosing me uh, as a rock star award awardee. I don't know if I'm uh, really in, in inspired. Uh, this was not my aim to be an inspiration to anybody. My aim in life was um, to lead as normal a life as possible. That is uh, what I strive to do, and I think I was successful, mainly because of my parents, of my brother, and my sister. I was always treated as a very normal part of the family. Neither my parents, nor my sister or brother were ever I'm sorry, but none of them are around except my sister. Can, so. can we have uh, Dr. Shakundala on stage as well, please? Your sister, her sister, please come up on stage. In fact, I think my parents were instrumental in making me very independent, ensuring that I went to a normal school. Uh, you know, I'll, we hear a lot of uh, uh, inclusive uh, education now, but when at that time, those words were not there. You attended a school and along with everybody else. And uh, I was, um, I think, among the very lucky people, whoever was um, involved, I um, mean, like I went to a school, the teachers were very good. They ensured that the classes were on the ground floor. Nobody said, oh, we can't do this for you, we can't do that for you, no. It was always a very, uh, there was a, a lot of attitudinal uh, support, you know. So I uh, led a very normal life. Uh, not only in going to school, but then college, then uh, I did my CA. And uh, I have to tell you, I was the only girl, and all the other were 12 uh, boys. And uh, wherever I went to do my, uh, you know, three years of every day, my, dad, my father would leave me at the office, wherever it was, wherever we did audits and things like that. And not one single place was accessible. Toilets were all with, you know, bolts up and all that. And uh, I, I would never hesitate to ask my male friends to please stand outside the door, make sure nobody else comes in, because none of the officers had a separate toilet for women. They were, there was a toilet. All men and women used the same toilet. So it was very important because I couldn't, close, um, I couldn't bolt the thing. I had to ask my male friends. And not one of them ever, ever hesitated to say, Chandra, we'll stand outside. So that was the kind of support I received all through my college, my uh, uh, articleship. And then when I went into the bank, I think uh, all Central Bank, um, I was in Central Bank of India. It was a very respected uh, Parsi uh, institution at that time and known to be one of the very best. Yet in Northern India, and I have to say that there were lots of people who resented the fact that I was a woman and uh, in a very short time I was ahead of them. In fact, there were two instances when I gave a lecture on uh, balance sheet, how to read a balance sheet, how to do this, how to do that. So they all asked me, you did, took three years to do your, do you think in three hours we'll understand a balance sheet? I said, uh, excuse me, I'm just telling you what is relevant to the banking system on this. I'm not asking you to learn, uh, do three-year course uh, of uh, CA. But that there was a mindset that I, was, I had only two years of service at that time. So just two years and I was giving lectures to guys who had 25 years of service and who said, I have 25 years of service in the bank. I'm a branch manager. You have just joined the bank. I, I had to, that was the kind of attitude I had to overcome. Then there was a guy who was posted under me, and he comes and tells me, ma'am, 
मैं आपको कुछ बोलूं तो आपको गुस्सा तो नहीं आएगा ऐसे क्या बोल ही दो जो भी बोलना है ही सेज यू नो मैम यू हैव टेकन अवे जॉब फ्रॉम अ मैन फूड आर सपोर्टेड हिज फैमिली फॉर वट एवर वेर एज यू डोंट इवन नीड टू अर्न यू कम फ्रॉम अ गुड फैमिली आई सेड नो दैट्स नॉट द पॉइंट the point is that i need to be financially independent so i need the job just as much as anybody else and number one number two i'm qualified for this job nobody has given me this job out of uh, sympathy compassion or whatever else i stood i came in the merit list on in the chartered accountancy i joined as a in a mainstream i was not given a job because of my disability it was i was given a job because of my ability and that's what i would like to tell all the people here in this uh, in the wheelchair that don't focus on your disability focus on your ability focus focus on on excelling focus on excelling in whatever you do that is the way to move forward the very fact that you have you are alive today i think it speaks a lot to your courage you have the courage and the ability to succeed and if you have the will to succeed and today there are a lot more opportunities previously in school you had to decide were you going to do science or uh, arts or whatever now mid uh, uh, you whatever you were doing before you could learn a new uh, trade or a skill or a profession or whatever that opportunity is there thanks to uh, the it industry one should make full use of that another thing i'd like you to i'd like to remind you all i don't know how many of you heard of stephen hawking stephen hawking uh, physically can't do anything including breathing i mean he has to have a ventilator he can't speak he has a voice synthesizer he has of course he is in a position uh, to command all that uh, what today's technology can offer i know you and i cannot we don't have the money but we whatever we can i'm sure things will improve and you will be able to use all that technical uh, technology for your benefit and what you have to remember is the mind is the most important thing if your mind is working focus on using that it doesn't matter if your legs don't work you have four wheels to go around in fact this is one of the things which they told me in england so remember that legs are for walking you don't do anything else except to walk with your two legs i mean basically you think with your brain you do things mostly with your hands if you don't can't use your hands you still can work with your brain that is what stephen hawking has shown to the world that his mind he is acknowledged as the best uh, world renowned physicist because of his thinking power not because he can't do this or that or whatever so please remember i'm specially saying this to all the para quadriplegics here because i know that lots and lots 80% of those who are injured with spinal cord injury are suffering from i uh, have a, a cervical uh, spinal injury which means your arms are weakened but your minds are working please use that be determined and i'm sure all of you will have a successful life and don't uh, uh count success only in money terms there is a life there is what you do successfully doesn't necessarily have to translate into money although there are a lot of people who say oh uh, you are you're using a uh, this kind of a car so you must be very successful so i don't consider that the true sign of success the true sign of success is a, a living a life of uh whatever you do with courage will not accepting defeat that is success to me and i'm sure all of you here today have shown that in whatever in a lot of ways
So please keep it up. And don't be discouraged with any hurdle. Don't think that, oh, this place is inaccessible, I can't do this or I can't do that. There are hurdles. Absolutely, there are hundreds of hurdles. Anything I have to, if I have to go somewhere, I have to think, I have to plan in months ahead and say, oh, toilet has to be like this, the, the, there should not be too many steps and things like that. And I have to say, this is only the second or the third time I'm traveling with my sister. I have always traveled alone, abroad and everywhere else. And sometimes, even the airline people say, uh, Madam, why don't you have a, somebody, a caregiver with you? I said, why should I have? Why should I have when I can do it myself? So uh, that is my attitude. And I think to the ex I have enjoyed and I have been lucky because I have had a lot of people. I think uh, I have to acknowledge that lots and lots of people have helped me. Even in the, when I go out and I find there are steps and this and that, I say, Bhai sahab, please, mujhe help a girl go, and they do. Without expecting anything, they help. So I think that there are a lot of people in this world who are very helpful, who don't expect anything, who still come help and they're helping that. And that's what we have to be grateful for. And forget about all the daily pinpricks of inaccessibility. Some people saying, oh, aap log to ghar mein rehna chahiye, aap kyun bahar aate hain? Uh, like uh, when we went to Bangalore and we wanted to see some uh, lion sanctuary or something, uh, he, uh, I said, can't we go in our own my taxi? He said, no, you have to sit in this seat. I said, this bus, you know, the seat was just 12, less than 12 inches. It's very difficult to sit. And uh, the bus was such a dilapidated thing. It would go up and down like this. And there was every chance I'd fall down. And he says, you don't need to come, I said, what do you mean, why I come? I want to see lions and tigers. This is the first time in my life anybody has said, why you come? If you don't help, uh, I mean, I'm, I have to write and say that uh, these guys were most unhelpful. So then he said, and we made sure that, you know, people would, would help me to get into the bus, leave the car and my wheelchair somewhere else. And I said, oh, please make sure it's not stolen things like that. <laughs> but eventually we did manage to go around. That's, That's thank you. I just want to say, please don't lose hope. There are problems, but you have the courage to, I'm sure, to overcome them. Thank you. That's why she's a rock star. And if we can have our guests up here for a photo opportunity, please, Dr. Tendulkar, Dr. Fernandez, and uh, Shivaji, sir, you just a minute.